Okay, here's the C2 capacitor tester all uh, apart. I uh, haven't begun to clean the parts yet, but that's the next step. Unsolder all of the items. Here's the wafer switch before it was cleaned. Uh, soaked it in acetone. And here it is after the soaking in acetone and before I finished uh, cleaning up the contacts. Here's a terminal lug. On this particular uh, terminal there was about a billion wires so I added a little eyelet on there on that one. Uh, here's your capacitors in parallel uh, excuse me in series uh, not suggested. Uh, here's parallel that's okay to do. Uh, series is, um, is suggested uh, not to do. I uh, use heat sinks when I can. They say it's not imperative, but uh, I like to use them when I can when soldering. And here's the uh, completed unit wired. Okay, we have a Heath kit model C2 condenser checker. Uh, the transformer in my ICO 950A. Uh, conked out. So I picked this up a long time ago and it was um, in non-working condition uh, so the price was right. Uh, all of the knobs and dials are here and all of that good stuff, the hardware in general. Uh, somebody had put a new three-wire cord on it. Um, and underneath we could tell that there's some handiwork done. You got some capacitors here in series. This is supposed to be a, uh, the original was an 8 microfarad 475 volt. They have 222 microfarads 450 volt in series. Uh, it gives uh, 11 microfarads, not the 8, I guess that's close enough. Uh, 900 volts in total but uh, you know capacitors hooking them up in series I am uh, understood that it's uh, to be generally avoided so those are going uh, the wiring is a little old uh, one loose connection and here's the uh, a real source of problem is a uh, it's a two layer wafer switch and all the contacts and uh, commutator rings in there are heavily tarnished. Uh, there's, uh, I found from the ICO that there's only one way to thoroughly clean this switch and unfortunately it's to remove it from the um, chassis. So uh, that's going to be the next step. Uh, the next step actually is going to be to test the tubes and test the transformer. That's step one. If the transformer is no good, then uh, that's going to put a whole new light on the project and we'll have to take it from there. But um, alrighty, so um, I hope to get this thing working. And uh, I appreciate uh, you uh, listening and watching the video. So have a good evening and take care. Okay, we have the Heath Kit C2 condenser checker complete. Uh, Voltage is tested perfect. Uh, there's a couple of uh, items I wanted to um, to point out. Um, very important is when you're working on an older piece of equipment like this, and you take it apart, is to make sure that all of these terminals, all of them, uh, that they'll accept solder. You have to tin them. Uh, I remember from the ICO, it had a four wafer, um, <clears throat> a four gang wafer switch. And I remember when I was involved, it was partially wired up. I went to install one, make a connection, <clears throat> and the, <clears throat> the, the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the connecting point would not accept solder. So um, when I had this all apart, I made sure everything got clean thoroughly and I made sure that all of the contacts even on the little terminal strips um, got uh, w w were tinned 
and ready to go. Uh, another thing is the um, the sequence of the wire installation. It's good to read through the instructions all the way and you'll find that some wires uh, you can go ahead and put in um, even though it's out of order on the instructions because uh, it's much easier to get the soldering iron down in and get a good connection without melting or damaging other components so uh, that was uh, important too and uh, lastly is there's you know some of these wires are fairly close to the edges of this steel and these babies were like sharp as razors so you just put a little radius on that and um, so pretty uh, next we'll have a video of this uh, baby in operation okay thanks for watching okay uh, while I'm out uh, giving lectures about what to do and what not to do I think I'll give myself a lecture uh, here's a pair of uh, match a match pair of one microfarad capacitors in parallel it gives you the two total of two and the lead goes to the center terminal on the power factor switch right there and if we go over to the unit there's the capacitors and this bright blue is the lead and look what terminal I put it on and I, and to boot I didn't even solder it actually that's helpful but there's the center terminal nobody home so like it says in the instructions double check the wiring okay thanks for watching okay we got the C2 up and running we'll do some tests start with a 380 ohm resistor and you can see the eye opening right about there and uh, actually a little bit before right before the four 400 and this resistor actually measures what we got here thumbelina with my fat fingers oh, I can't see it 388 okay next while I have the leads out I'll do a um, 250 micro microfarad, aka picofarad condenser, and uh, let's see, 250 should be right around there. Yep, uh, that's um, point. 0 0.025 and if you multiply that by a thousand you get your uh, picofarads 250 okay next we have a rather ancient uh, planet make uh, electrolytic capacitor of four microfarads so this a little bit of uh, help here from the leads <clears throat> and these are you got to observe the polarity so you got your positive let's see four microfarads will go 1 to 50 positive and negative there you go and let's see the scale is there's 50 10 5 about 4 ish uh, electrolytic let's see 1 to 50 hmm okay this guy is opening around 
eight or so. A little power factor ESR for the ultimate opening. Yeah, about eight, eight plus around eight um, microfarads. So we'll check that out. And let's see, observe polarity and observe polarity. There you go. 8.3. Let's see. One more. We'll do one. Uh, actually, we'll give this guy the leakage test. Observe polarity. Plus. And, of course, minus. And this is supposed to be good for 300 volts. So, let's see, there's 20 volts, no leak, watch the light, if it blinks it stays on, 200 volts, steady light, not too good. That's probably why it had a, a high uh, ESR on the power factor. Okay, now you got to be careful, if you ever one, run one of these rigs, you got 200 volts or something thereabouts across these terminals. So keep your hands off and always turn your um, selector knob away from the uh, leakage test. And let's see, what should we do here? One more, no more. Uh, here's a 200,000 ohm, no, 200, yes, 200,000 ohm resistor. So, We'll put this over here, and 2,000 times 100, add a couple of zeros to the 2,000, you got 200K. So all in all, I'm very pleased. Um, it's a very simple unit, easy unit to work on. The, um, the literature is available on the internet. You could probably pick one of these up gut it and put all new components uh, the um, the transformer is probably one of the more critical I items I lucked out all of the voltages were um, right on the money so there you have it uh, Heath kit condenser checker model C2 the year I don't know it said 1949 on the instruction manual but uh, it's uh, it's up there in age, <clears throat> so I appreciate uh, your time, and um, thank you very much for watching.